Hello my PBC family and friends, Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, uh, Living the Word. I just want to take a moment and share with you uh, some thoughts. I don't know, I, I, I'm using my phone guys and so I feel like I'm going to make you all sick by the end of this and I apologize for that. <laughs> Anyway, so at that being the case, the reason why I'm using my phone is I just I was outside this morning early and planting a tree and stuff like this. And so, um, you want to see it? So there's our new tree. Let me see our backyard there a little bit. Anyway, but long story short, um, I was out here and I was planting this tree, and I was just spending some time with the Lord and talking to Him. And I don't, I don't, because unfortunately I don't have my Bible on me. I'm gonna have to just kind of paraphrase this morning. So I hope you guys will bear with me. And I know this quick bite's going to blow it late, so hopefully you'll just be comfortable with that. But here's what uh, I thought about when I was think when I was thinking about uh, um, what I was doing this morning. Uh, I know it's going to sound crazy. Is when I was digging the hole and I saw a worm. Now you guys know me. I hate snakes. Can't stand snakes. Snakes. Um, I mean, God cursed them for a reason, right? Oh, sorry. Put my hand over the camera. That didn't help out. Anyway, God cursed them for a reason. Uh, we're not supposed to love snakes and people who do. I I, look, I worry a little bit about. Anyway, long story short, this is what I kind of came to. I came to this thought about how you remember when Paul, uh, when he uh, the shook the snake, this the deadly viper had, had leaked from the fire and, and clashed onto his hand and he just tossed it off and. And everybody kind of thought of him as a god. And uh, I was like, oh, that's, that's really, you know, an interesting thought. And then I remembered, of course, in Mark chapter 16, and, uh, uh, verse, I was thinking about Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and 18, when it said, and these shall be the signs that follow his disciples. And he talks about how the serpents wouldn't harm us, um, that we could drink some strong drink and it wouldn't kill us, you know, so on and so forth. And all these things like this, and and and, and again, I, like I said, guys, I apologize. I'm par paraphrasing this morning, but uh, what I, what I kind of came away with that that thought was this: is I was like. You know, we see people all the time who take this to an extreme. Uh, you know, we hear about churches where they do snake handling, right, of deadly vipers. And, um, and of course, you know, every year we hear about one who didn't take the time to milk the snake before they played with it. And so it ended up biting them and they end up getting sick or they end up dying. And so as I was thinking about this, though, I was thinking about, I know, crazy as it sound, um, a lot of people who I hear right now, uh, we, we know that our circle is getting a little bit tighter as far as our uh, the COVID-19 and, and how it's affecting uh, people we know and people in our body. But what I was thinking about as I was thinking about these, this idea is I was thinking about how Paul didn't go looking for a viper. Uh, the viper came to him. Uh, but when the viper showed up, he trusted that God would take care of him, you know, and I think there's, a, there's some wisdom in that. I, we don't go looking for the vipers. And so in other words, right now during this time, we don't go out looking for opportunity or being unwise and how we're going to handle ourselves. We don't go out looking for ways that we're not going to, uh, to, to, to survive. But ultimately when it comes upon us, we know that God's in control. And even if for some crazy reason this was to be the end of our life, I, I hate to put it that way, but if this is the end of our life and, and God was to choose to take our life, there's my beautiful bride, by the way. She was out here helping me this morning. Hi! <laughs> um, but uh, even if God was to choose to take our life, we don't need to be afraid of that because we ultimately recognize that this is not where we belong. This is not our home. And so I just want to encourage us, be wise during this time, guys. Do what you're, you you know to do, the wise things to do, the protocol things to do. Um, you know, Be safe and be wise in those things. But if the viper strikes, don't be afraid. Shake it off. God's got this. All right. So that's my encouragement today. I apologize I didn't open the word to you this morning, but if you want to read something, I encourage you to go read that Mark chapter 16. It's actually at the Great Commission, uh, Mark chapter uh, and uh, and uh, Mark chapter 16, and picking up about well, Great Commission starts at verse 16 and read down through verse 18. Anyway, I love you. We love you. God loves you, and God's got this.